two episodes in a row. Wow, what a time to be alive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to World of Tanks. And today I welcome you to update 1.4's test server. In this episode, I am going to cover everything you need to know about update 1.4. Let's go over it. Let's see what is new, what is going to be changed, tuned, rebalanced, and so on. Because we are actually going to get quite a few things with update 1.4. New vehicles, wheeled vehicles, some vehicles are going to be balanced, some maps are going to be balanced, and some other interface changes, and guys, yes, even more customization options. So let's dive into it, let's see what update 1.4 has to offer. Now guys, you might hear some echo on the background today, uh, let's test it out. I think you might hear something on the background. I am still not home yet, so sorry for that, uh, but I try to limit it as much as possible. And I am going to make many, many episodes featuring new stuff in the update 1.4 in the next few days, so you really want to stay tuned, hitting that subscribe button and joining with the notification squad. Hit that bell button. Anyway, update 1.4 and main changes with update 1.4. Uh, changes to the personal missions, uh, rebalanced the missions of the second operation within the second front campaign. So some personal missions were rebalanced once again, and it was kinda expected uh, when they released personal mission 2.0 that it takes couple patches to short them out, to figure them out, to see how players are completing them, which missions are hard and, and so on, so it was kinda expected. Uh, they also added concurrent rendering support to improve performance by evenly loading all available CPU cores. It is always welcome, uh, all those improvements to the performance are always welcome and hopefully this helps out a lot of you guys. Uh, optimize the performance of the store. Yep, sometimes store was a bit too slow loading some stuff up uh, for me, uh, especially while I was recording. Uh, for some odd reason, like when I was recording, my gameplay didn't suffer, but uh, while I was in the garage recording something, everything loaded super slowly. I don't know what is up with that, uh, hopefully this optimization helps it out. Uh, changes to the wheeled vehicles, uh, they fixed uh, some issues related to wheeled vehicles, uh, optimized the performance of the movement physics and made some balance changes. Uh, they also rebalanced uh, that EBR75, more about that in a moment, uh, upcoming tier 8 premium uh, EBR75 wheeled vehicle. And as I said, even more customization options. They added tactical numbers. A new type of exterior elements, uh, three digit numbers that can be entered manually. The font can also be selected manually. This is really nice, you can type in your number, whatever you want. Uh, my favorite number is 13, so I am going to add number 13 on all of my favorite vehicles for sure. So if you see number 13 on the battlefield, you know that it is me. And I am going to bounce many many shots with my number 13. But to call them tactical numbers is a bit fun in my opinion at least. Uh, changes to the maps uh, made terrain related changes on difficult to access not intended for playing areas on the following maps. I guess this is uh, uh, something to do with all those upcoming wheeled vehicles because where those wheeled vehicles were able to climb it was ridiculous, quite ridiculous. Uh, on Karelia, Live Oaks, Lakeville, Cliff, uh, Muravanka, El Haluf, Airfield, Steps, Minsk, Empire Border, Klondike, Nebelberg and Abbey. So they are trying to limit many many mountain goat positions but there are still going to be few out here, mark my words. Uh, disable the assault battle type for the Empire Spoiler map, nice, nice, nice. Added the coast town map in the random battle mode, including assault and counter battle, as well as in the attack defense mode in team training. Made significant changes to the map to suit modes and battle types. Uh, the map will be available to vehicles of uh, tier 4 to tier 10, so tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 vehicles are not able to play on coast town. But, guys, 
this means we received another new map into this game, which is always welcome in my opinion. Now Coast Town is not the newest map in this game, it has been over here for a couple years at least, but it is new to the random battle mode, to the random battle map pool, because Coast Town has been over here for a couple years, we had that Rampage mode over there, Wargaming League is using it, some team training is going on over there, some events and so on, but for the random battles it is a completely new map, if I remember correctly at least. Uh, but moving on, and next up, let's talk about vehicles, uh, changes to the vehicles and new vehicles in update 1.4. So under the UK, they decided to buff Chimera a bit, actually quite a lot, especially that gun handling. They decreased the dispersion turning movement by 17%, so it is 17% more accurate while Chimera is moving, and it is also 17% more accurate while it is turning its turret. Uh, they changed the dispersion from 0 0.38 down to 0 0.36, so the gun is a bit more accurate now, and they also buffed the aiming time from 2.7 seconds down to 2.5 seconds, so it also aims a bit faster. Uh, they also buffed the view range from 360 meters up to 380 meters, which is quite significant buff actually, 20 meters is no joke. Um, you can buff that uh, 20 meters even more, uh, or you can scale it even more with all the view range boosting equipment units and crew skills. Uh, they also increased the shell velocity of the AP Mark 1 shell by 30%, and uh, they increased the shell velocity of the APDS Mark 1 shell by 20%, so both standard and premium round uh, shell velocity was buffed, and uh, they also changed the penetration value of the AP Mark 1 shell from 202 up to 218 millimeters. Uh, so new Chimera with better gun handling and with better firepower stats and better view range as well. Mobility stays the same. Moving on, another reward vehicle that was buffed is Object 279E. Uh, they buffed its accuracy uh, from 0 0.38 down to 0 0.36. Uh, they changed dispersion on turret traverse by 25%, so I guess they buffed it. Uh, changed aiming time from 2.5 seconds down to 2.3 seconds and improved hull armoring. So even more armor on 279E. Two reward vehicles that were buffed. But now let's talk about French vehicles. Added the following wheeled vehicles into the game. Hotchkiss EBR, Banar AMD 178V, Banar AML Lynx 6x6, Panar EBR 90 and the Crown Jewel Tier 10 Panar EBR 105 with over 100 km per hour top speed in World of Tanks. And they also added AM39 and Centron Somoa for testing by Superdest players. So Superdest players uh, once again are able to test something out. And uh, they also added Lance and C tier 8 Swedish medium tank, uh, the first medium tank in the game with the siege mode ability uh, for super less players to test out. I am really excited to see how that works, uh, but if you didn't know already, Wargaming is working on the medium tank branch as well uh, for the Swedish tech tree starting from tier 8 with Lance and C, as far as I know at the moment. Now, as I said at the start of the episode, Wargaming also did something to the EBR-75, and those changes are in the update 1.4 at the moment, uh, but I still do not know when EBR-75 uh, tier 8 premium wheeled vehicle is going to be released, uh, but what they did, they buffed it. According to my buddy Harkonnen at the dailybones.net blog, a uh, brief change log is as following. Engine power increased by 5%, uh, braking effectiveness improved, uh, switch time between driving modes reduced from 0 0.2 seconds to 0 0.1 seconds, so if you change the driving mode using X button between rapid mode and uh, cruise mode. A debuff from wheel damage reduced, so it is not going to be that drastical anymore, uh, I think so. And maneuverability in the cruise mode at slow speed improved, so mobility received many many improvements. And uh, they also buffed the TPM a bit, magazine reload time reduced from 10.3 seconds down to 9.5 seconds. So EBR75 is already better.
What do you say about that? I do not know if I'm able to test it out on the test server. If I am, I am going to test it out and I am going to show it to you once again with uh, this new mobility and, and uh, better TPM. And you can be sure that you are going to see many, 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 many videos from the update 1.4 using all those wheeled vehicles, EBR 105, EBR 90, Lynx 6x6, in my opinion, one of the coolest names in this game. Uh, so you really do want to stay tuned, hitting that subscribe button and joining with the bell squad. So you are actually going to be notified when I upload another episode. But that much about update 1.4 for now. This is all you need to know at the moment. If I have any more information, I am going to let you know. So guys, stay tuned for more information for more videos from update 1.4's test server. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, take care and bye.